Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of a creative journaling Bible. This one is called The Promises of God. It's in the modern English version, which if you're not familiar with that, that's one of three translations that's done from the Textus Receptus. The other two being the King James and the New King James. So let's take a closer look at it. So the cover is nicely done. If you can kind of see the way that that light is hitting that the outline and then the word of God there is in a copper color and then that tree down there with the birds kind of has that same color so it is a nice looking Bible it's hardcover so it's gonna stand upright it's got a nice spine we've got the promises of God creative journaling Bible modern English version and Passio this one here measures out at eight and a half inches tall by seven and three eighths inches wide. And this one is an inch and three quarters thick. So on the back, the special features on this one is it's got two and a quarter inch margins. It's got a mix of blank space, ruled lines and illustrations. It's got more than 160 illustrations, including 66 illustrated book introductions. And this one is a red letter Bible, so the words of Christ are in red. Here is our ISBN number. This one retails for just $21.99. So if you've got someone who's just getting started in Bible art journaling, this would be a great one to pick up. Inside we have a paper paste down liner. It's got a nice design on there, kind of in a pastel colored yellow. We've got our presentation page. And so right off the bat, you can see that there's a page there to color. Here's our copyright information here. And when this one was done, this one was printed in China. So we've got our typical books of the Bible. We've got a preface to the reader. So if you've never read the modern English version, I would suggest reading that. I do really like this translation. So if you're a fan of the King James and New King James, I think you would like this one. So we get right into the Old Testament. And each book is going to have a nice book introduction. So if you wanted to pause and read that to just kind of give you an idea of what the book introductions are like. And then the artwork on each one of them has images that are relevant to that book. We've got the two column format, as you can see there. So on pages with the pictures, you are gonna see that, especially in this area where there is no writing. So if there's an image on the other side, you are gonna get the ghosting on there. But on pages where there's just the, just the text, it's not that bad. So there's a nice, really detailed picture that you could color the way it's designed. It's kind of designed to look like the globe. So that there is kind of neat. This one here, the font. And then we've got quite a few of the just solid blank pages that are lined. So this one would even be great for note taking because you've got those nice lined wide margins. So on pages where there's just text only, the ghosting is not bad in this one at all. And this is an eight point font. So I marked a few of the images in here to kind of show you. So they looks like they tried to make them relevant to the areas of the books that you're in. So in here we can see that we're in Exodus. And over on this page here is when it's talking about Moses parting the Red Sea. So we've got the waves on both sides of those page edges. So the artwork is relevant to the text. So I did notice that and I do like that. But there's a lot of illustrated verses in the margins so if you're not real artsy there's still plenty of stuff to color in here and there's another one of those book introductions there's quite a few pages where that's just the lined paper so even if you didn't want to do any artwork this would also be a nice note-taking bible as well so there is a Nice verse there, one on both sides of the page. 
you do get a few pages where it is a full illustration so you've got a lot to color there I've enjoyed this translation I've got uh, just a reading Bible in this translation and I have enjoyed it and when I first started reading it I brought out a King James and New King James and was I'd read a chapter and all three just to kind of compare and I could see how this one is pretty similar to those without the old language in it so I have liked this translation you're gonna see a little bit more ghosting in the poetry books which that's typical with pretty much any Bible unless you're getting a premium Bible but you're gonna expect ghosting out of something like this that's a $22 Bible but the artwork that is in it is nicely done so when that is colored that would look nice this would be a great one if you're just starting with it or for a teen or a young adult somebody who wants to get into it but you don't want to spend a lot to get started this would be a great option for that here's just a this is uh, one of my favorite verses here which it probably is with a lot of people so and it continues over to this other page so that's Jeremiah 29 11 So here's another example of how they incorporate a theme from the book into the artwork on it. So we've got Daniel with the lion there, since he was thrown into the lion's den. We've got uh, the book of Jonah, which everybody's familiar with, popular story. And we've got all the waves. So they do have some nice artwork in here. Some of it is fairly simple. Now there are some images in here that I did see that some people may not like so if something like this there is going to bother you i've got two other ones marked that i'm going to show you so i marked the the few that i did see that were things that people may or may not really like so here's an example of our red letter it is a nice shade of red it's a little bit lighter than some it's not really really dark it shows up just a hair darker on the camera but it is a decent shade of red. So the other images that I marked in here that uh, people may have an issue with, here is one of them here. So with the angels and then the baby Jesus. So if this is something that's gonna bother you, you may wanna look at a different one. Cause there are, I've seen three images in here that are similar to this that people may really not care for. Others might not be a problem. Or you could always put gesso on there and cover it up completely if you wanted to. So I just thought I would show the ones that uh, I have seen that people have kind of voiced concerns on, on reviews that I've read. So, But I only did see three out of this whole Bible, so those are the ones. So if they don't bother you, then this would be a good option for you. And if you haven't read this translation... You know, that would be a good way to, one, get a new translation and get a new coloring Bible, too, so. But they did do a good job with the different artwork. There's probably less artwork in this one than I've seen in some of the others. But I do have a few journaling Bibles in my Bible reviews list, so check those ones out if this is your style of Bible. This would even be a good one if you have an expensive journaling Bible that you've got and you don't want to mess up that one to test out a new medium. This would maybe be a good one. I like that image there. There's another one that uh, might be bothersome to somebody with the praying hands. but You never know what might bug somebody. So I just thought I would point those few out. The paper is nice and smooth. The print quality is good. I mean, it's only an eight point font, but you can see that that's very clear. So even if you just got it as a note takers and to have one of this translation, that would not be bad at all, especially for just $22. And in the back, we've got just a few pages of blank paper. It's the same 
paper as the Bible paper, so it's the thinner Bible paper. And then we've got uh, just one page of the white cardstock, and then we've got just that same paper that's in that liner. So this is on the inside part of the back sleeve. That tells us a little bit about the translation. That there's kind of neat if you wanted to pull some of your finished Bible journaling artwork. That might be kind of fun for you if you're into that. But there again is our ISBN number. This one is 2199. I picked this one up on christianbook.com. It is, uh, it's got a nice feel on that cover. And I think it's a nice looking Bible. I do like the translation. The sewn binding is nice. So it's going to lay flat for you. Definitely in the middle. In the beginning sections, it's kind of a little bit different type of hinge on there. So kind of wants to stay up. But if you were doing something in there because it's a hardcover, I don't think you'd have any issue with it. So not a bad Bible, especially for $22. And also check out the modern English version. There is a really good video here on YouTube that's about... I think it's about an hour long that somebody does a really good review of this translation. So if I can find that, I'll put a link to that in the comment section. But I've listened to that a few times, and it's good information about this translation. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.